everyone, welcome to my channel. So we're just gonna go ahead and start out. Um, so of course, I did go ahead and do my face first. So I used the uh, Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define foundation right here. It, it is a matte foundation without like being too dry. It's kind of got like a little bit of a satin to it, but mostly matte. It's in the shade F1. And then I took the e.l.f. Cosmetics 16 hour camo concealer in fair beige. I set my eyes with the Jeffree Star Magic Star Translucent Powder. I took this e.l.f. Cosmetics Lock On Liner and Brow Cream in light brown right here. Right, so we're just gonna go ahead and start out. I'm gonna use the Tardis Pro Glow from Tarte Cosmetics. This palette right here has highlighters in it, blushes, and bronzers, but we are gonna just use the blush and bronzers. Going in with my favorite brush, this is the e.l.f. Cosmetics 103 brush. I'm gonna take this color and this color. Picking that up and we're just going to pop it all over the cheeks right here. I'm going to go in with the Morphe M437 brush. This is going to be for uh, our, this is going to be for contour and bronzer. So I'm taking this color right here and um, we're just going to use it as like a contour bronzer thing. So I'm going to put it on the cheeks and on the forehead. All right, so now moving on, I'm gonna take the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Magic Star Translucent. We are just gonna sharpen up this jawline area and bring it down with it. So now we're gonna take the Stall Tin Prepping Perfector Brush. We're gonna go in with the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Peppermint Frost Palette. Uh, so this came in the mystery box, the uh, Supreme whatever mystery box was the largest for the holiday collection. And this stuff smells like peppermint, smells so good. So I'm gonna go into the color Igloo Gold right here. And I'm taking this a very little bit because it is very pigmented onto the cheeks and nose and kind of at the top of the forehead. Right, so now we're just gonna go ahead and take a brush and we're gonna dust away that translucent powder. Alright, so next up I'm going to go in with the Morphe by Jeffree Star Set and Refresh Starberry Mist here and spray it on the face. Alright, so we're going to do a smoky eye today. It's going to be like gray, black, and silvery colors. So I'm going to take the Morphe by Jeffree Star palette here. Here's the inside super pretty palette. So I'm going to take it and we are going to go into the gray color which is Vroom Vroom right here. So I got this brush from Medusa's Makeup and it is so cute and pretty. It's got like glitter all in it. So I'm going to take this. It doesn't have a full name but it is from Medusa's Makeup. I got that color. I don't want to be too like drastic with it but I am going to start blending it into the crease. I'm going to start rounding it out but then I'm going to take a brush later and kind of smoke it outwards. I'm making sure to take the clean brush, whatever is like left over on the brush and blend it up very high close to the brow. So I'm going to take this AOA Studio E125 brush. It is a blending brush, but it also has an angle to it. We're going to go into this white cream color here. It's like a light creamy color, and it's the color Lynn. So I'm taking it, and I'm going to start using it to kind of like smoke out this eye part. Um, not, you know, too much, but just kind of smoke it out a little bit this way in a rounded way, kind of, if that makes any sense. Okay, so with that color, it's not really going out as much as I would like it, so I tapped very lightly into that gray so we can do that. Now, going back into that light color to kind of just soften it. We're going to go into that same color, but I'm going to take the Morphe M5 zero six brush and we're going to use it to just blend out the top part of the lid and into the inner corner because it was getting patchy but that's because the brush was too thick for that area so i'm just doing that it is adding like a lightness to it so we will go back into the gray just really diffusing it first all right so i'm going to take that same brush go into the gray pack it pretty heavily on the out part 
and then start bringing it into the crease. This brush is a little bit more smaller so it will help it blend better and just be a little bit more pigmented. Alright, so I'm now going in with a Luxie 246 Precision Crease Brush. This is flat, so now we're going to be taking the color Custom Rims. So it is this silver color. Picking it up, wetting my brush, and then going back into it, and we're just going to lay it all over the lid. Alright, so far it looks really pretty. I'm going to take it on the finger and just kind of lay it down for a little bit more foiled look. But I am really liking that color. It is really pretty. Alright, so I'm taking that brush and adding some gray onto it. And we are going to just run it under the lower lash line. Not too heavy, but just a little bit under there. Wiping it off, taking that same kind of like cream color just to really smoke it out at the bottom, not bringing it too far up so it doesn't take away the gray, but just smoking it so it's nice and smooth under my eye bags. Alright, so now I'm going to go into this color. It is Fast Lane. It is a black and I remember this being really pigmented. So I'm going to take that same brush, tap into it like one time, and we're just going to use it to kind of deepen out this outer part and blend that silver into the out part of the eye. Alright, so I went ahead and did winged eyeliner off camera because it's really hard to like hold a mirror up. My table's too low to even like be in frame to do that. So I used the NYX Cosmetics Love Lust Disco Epic Ink Liner. It was part of their holiday collection, but I really hope that they don't get rid of it because I love this liner. Um, so I just used this to draw on some wings. I'm going to go in with the Tarte C Surfer Curl mascara so I really love this I used it the other day I've only used it once but I'll put it on the top and bottom lashes I'm gonna take on a pencil brush the highlighter we used and put it into the inner corner so now for lipstick, we're just going to put on a simple lipstick. I love this formula. This is the Buxom Lipsticks Full Force Lipsticks. It's in the color Boss, and it just works so good. Um, I just, I love them. There's so many different colors, but I love them all. So just putting this on my lips. All right, so that is everything for this video. Um, I really love how this turned out. I think this is a very easy, quick like glam if you're going out or if you just want to wear some glam it's very smoky it looks so nice but honestly i've been filming for such a small amount of time that it was so easy and i love it and i think everything looks good so anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, make sure to give my video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in my next video